Hello, I'm here with Tariq Krim, the founder Hello. and CEO of PageFlex. I mean NetVibes. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> So we're here at the uh, World Economic Forum in Davos. It's the crack of freaking dawn. We had to get up to sign up for the uh, the closed dinners and everything. I see there's Super actually, cold. It's, it's like, what is it, eight or nine in the morning? I don't even know. And it's pretty crowded already. But Tariq is giving us an overview of the new Ginger release, and I thought I'd take some of this and put it on video. So Tariq, let's jump into it. What are the new features? So new features, basically we have redesigned totally the interface. The idea was to make sure that things are very simple. Let me give you an example. This is a widget of the Wall Street Journal. Now, how do you get to this? Is this for a new user, or is this just any time you click add content on the yeah, top? Yeah, any time add content. Okay. Basically. So the idea was to create widgets that are super easy to use. You, this is in this widget. You have all the RSS feed of the Wall Street Journal, and you can decide which feed you want to get. And when you create that on your page, you can create Now, did the Wall Street Journal have to tailor this themselves, or did you do it for them? Um, what we did is we, we created the front end, and they basically defined the logo and the feed. Okay. Everything is, is built by, uh, by now, the Now, TechCrunch is not featured on NetVibes? Of course it is. Uh, I don't see it there. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. It's featured, but you have to do a search first. I have a, a show you a trick. When when you can do add a feed, usually you have to type the URL. But for TechCrunch, you just have to type TechCrunch. It's like a. Do you remember the little bomb when you did a mistake? It remembers you uh, back in the days. Yeah. <laughs> if you type TechCrunch. You're the only one who has the, you have a, like a short uh, short link. Why are there two options there? There's only two. So now uh, let me click and check what's going on. Oh, your feed is not working. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, where is it? But cool. if I type the crunch here, crunch, I would have not only all the results from TechCrunch, this is the official TechCrunch widget. Yeah, cool. With talk crunch, crunch gears, mobile crunch. And I, if I don't have any uh, results, cool. let's say I'm, I'm typing, uh, you know, uh, Terry Krim. Oh gosh. I might have some results, but if I'm not into um, these results, I can click here. And, I, and I'm going to be able to get all uh, information all over from blogs, from um, image, and from web video. All right, so other than this new top area with to add... In, the new thing is that yeah. we have now, everyone has a, a public page, a universe, basically. Anyone can create his own public page. And if anything that is on, you can put like, aggregate all your different online profiles, let me show you. If I go to the content, and now if I browse the categories, I can go like, we have it called it yet, Pimp My Universe. You can put like web notes, image, HTML, but you can say this is my Google Talk, this is my ICQ, this is my MySpace, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Flickr, my Picasa, etc. Basically, mm -hmm. you can aggregate all your online, my last mm -hmm. FM, yeah. all your online profile here. The other cool thing is Do you now. You create a single RSS feed of all the stuff going on. Yes, well? exactly. Okay. So, so it's a little bit like what Friend Feed and Plaxo Pulse are doing in that regard? It's more about, it's your widget Plaxo, if you want. It's, mm -hmm. about, it's really related to what you do on your widget Plaxo. So let me go back to my, to my private page. So the cool thing now is, uh, let me see, any article that I found interesting, I just click here, yeah. and I can make it as a favorite. So it can be a private favorite just for me, yeah. or a public. Let's say, I want yeah. to do it. And if it goes public, what happens? What happens, it goes to your activity, on your public activity. Okay. So, Thank you. Here it's, is, it's a new stream. Of exactly. Course, yeah. It's a new stream, but it's going to be more than a new stream. Widget will be able to interact with your activities stream. Let's say you have a travel widget and you want to be aware when the price is below 500 for a ticket. You will have the ability for a widget to say, hey, and this will be integrated in our widget API, uh, UWS. Okay, API. and how many, how many widgets do you have now? 110,000. Th and those are, uh, who created those? Um, 20,000 people actually submitted something. It could be feeds, yeah, yeah. it could be apps, it could be, there's a bunch of, 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 of apps. And the cool thing now is anything is social very easily. And I want to show you something that no one has seen yet. It's how you get things on Facebook. So what you need is just, uh, I'm already connected, but you would have to just click and have a little window Sign say. Sign into Facebook. Um, just a little window say, I automatically I, create yeah, a token. Offers, yeah. And then I click here, and it's going to tap through all my friends on Facebook that are using Ginger. And then I can decide or not 
uh, if I want, I want to add this. Oh, let me check. Sort of watch their public exactly. page stuff. Yeah, I just saw Jeremy Leo. He's here. I'm gonna add as a friend. So the, the idea was we lively synchronize, and this is legal. We're using the uh, the API of Facebook. I wish it could be uh, faster, but the idea is really to simplify um, your connection to to all your your social network. Yeah. So what we will introduce in in, uh, in Ginger is that. We don't. We're not a social network, as we don't. We're not here to add or remove friends. Your friends are on Facebook, as your video are on uh, on YouTube, or, or your photos on Flickr. So what we do is we leverage this information to help you create connection for content. Yeah, and great. Get relevant. So Pounce just recently added a similar feature. They added an integration for Twitter, Flickr, and my, and Facebook friends. Are you going to add that in as well? Like pretty soon, will I be able to add my friends from Twitter and Flickr? You already, can, yeah, you can do that already. Oh, but just Facebook. This is new one that you just showed me. I showed you Facebook, okay. but I, I can show you. You can do Yahoo, all the Yahoo in the world, Gmail, Hotmail, yeah, cool. Twitter. And this just uses the API Flickr, for Twitter. Yeah, AIM and Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Now we're going to integrate others, uh, but um, there's two ways of doing it. It has to be easy, and sometimes some of the APIs. The Facebook one is great, uh, the Gmail is great, some of uh, them you have to be a bit tricky. We are. We're looking to do the same thing with MySpace in the future. And uh, So we gave away 500 invites to Ginger. What, this, did they go out this morning or last yeah, night? Yeah, it's got like a few minutes and they were gone. And everywhere we were gone. The problem is we invited more people. <laughs> and now the site's a little like a little bit chugging, right? Is yeah, yeah. Too many people now we're just like, uh, we were expecting to upgrade the database at the end of the week and we have to do it like When today. do you see... Uh, can people sign up for the private beta on the site, or what's yes, the deal? Yes, we have a, a website, dedicated website, where people can say, I don't have an invite code. Get on a waiting list. And they have a web. So the idea is basically, we're trying to get as much people as we can. And, and then uh, when will they get the, when can they expect to be in? When do you think this will go public and anyone can use it? Mid-February. The thing okay. is that uh, a lot of people um, have been helping us in the feedback, because at some point we want to do something people are, are pleased with. And, yeah. uh, and a bunch of people said, this feature is useless. I would love to have that. We want to do that. So at some point, um, the team is very reactive and uh, we hope that in the next three weeks, uh, the, project, the product will be tuned to basically what the user wants. Well, I'd ask you for more invites now, but it looks like you need to keep stability, so uh, let me have more when you're ready. Definitely, I will. All right, and what's your favorite tech blog? TechCrunch, of course. Nice. Hey.